Well, it looks like the forecast this week is probably going to be mostly quiet. Uh, may see some slightly drier and cooler air move in. However, there are some uncertainties as we try to figure out what's going to happen with this cutoff low that does develop over the lower Mississippi Valley early this week and possibly hang around the region for most of the work week. More on that after this. Well, good Sunday evening. My name is Christopher Bannon with the National Service here in Slidell, and this is going to be your weekly outlook for October 4th through the 10th. Well, let's take a quick look at our tropics right now. This is the tropical weather outlook from the Hurricane Center. Still issuing advisories on Sam and Victor, but there is one other area that's just north of the Bahamas that we're going to keep an eye on for the next few days. However, for our region, we look pretty good and quiet for at least the next five days, if not longer. So, fingers crossed that the tropics remain quiet. Let's take a real quick look back at last week from the standpoint of rainfall. We did have rain return to the area Tuesday, and as you can see, saw a pretty good bit of rain throughout most of the week, mostly around two to about five inches over some areas. However, places like Baton Rouge, just south of New Orleans, saw a little bit heavier rain with some locations up to six, possibly even eight inches of rain, and that was through Saturday. But even after that much rain, the good thing is, it looks like this week's going to mostly be dry with probably the best chance of rain for the next five to seven days occurring either tomorrow or maybe lingering into Tuesday. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what we're going to look at right now is the water vapor imagery. This is coming from both Go 16 and Go that are really measuring quite a bit over the United States uh, into the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans as well. The image right here is called water vapor. But what I'd like to really focus on is you'll see that first L that's moving, uh, that's basically located over the central part of the United States. So Nebraska and Kansas right there and that pink circle around it. The arrow showing where that disturbance is going to move to basically over the next 24 to 36 hours. So sometime Tuesday, especially Tuesday night, this system is expected to dig down to the Old Mississippi Valley and close off. As this closes off, it's actually become cut off from the flow to the north. And when these systems get cut off like that, they're usually very slow to move out of the way. The problem also is, is that the models generally struggle with those systems. So as the system closes off over the Old Mississippi Valley Tuesday, Tuesday night, that looks like it could hang around the region throughout a good portion of the work week, maybe finally starting to lift out of the area right on Thursday or Friday. And we're gonna look real quickly at some of the model guidance, kind of show you what the forecast looks like for that feature. So as our system drops down to the Lower Mississippi Valley, it's going to eventually close off, and it tries to close off mainly Tuesday, and again into Tuesday night. It's gonna sit over the Lower Mississippi Valley through at least Wednesday, and then it may start to slowly retreat back to the north as this area of high pressure along the Great Lakes region blocks it from lifting out of the area to the northeast. Uh, a lot of times when you get these blocking systems, the models would generally break things down a little bit too fast. So with what I'm trying to show you right here is you'll see that system with these black lines, those are called uh, the ice heights. Right over the Lower Mississippi Valley, it closes off over Arkansas. It sits there, but it starts to show it move to the north around Wednesday. That may be more like Thursday than it actually occurs. But the other issue is that as that system closes off over the Lower Mississippi Valley and lifts to the north, the cooler and drier air that we we're hoping to kind of get down in the region may get shunted off to the west just a little bit. If that closed low, though, moves a little bit more to the east, we may be able to get some of that drier air down to the region and that will provide for much nicer morning lows uh, around mid to late in the week. So we'll keep a close eye on it because a lot of times we struggle with how exactly this pattern is going to evolve when you get a really big closed system like that and especially that far south and during October which is a highly unusual month for that to happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at our forecast temperatures for the week. High temperatures on Monday are going to be in the 80s across much of the area, mainly the lower 80s to mid 80s. But as you can see through the week, there's not much of a change as highs will again generally range from about 80, 81 to 84 and may start to see temperatures rise just a tad as we get to like Friday and Saturday. 
as that system pulls away and we start seeing what we call ridging building into the area. And how about the morning lows? As you can see, we're going to start the week off with lows mainly in the upper 60s to mid 70s. However, as we get into the middle and later portions of the week, we'll probably start seeing some lower 60s, especially across areas along and north of I-1012 corridor, uh, along the Pascagoula drainage areas and the Pearl River drainage areas. So morning lows could dip down into the lower 60s and would not be surprised to see maybe an isolated area or two uh, touching the upper 50s. Um, kind of mid to late in the week. However, we're going to see temperatures start to climb back up as we move through the weekend when we start seeing return flow and moisture returns. And how about the rainfall forecast? Well, for the most part, if this system does move down into the Little Mississippi Valley where it cuts off and then just drifts back to the north slowly and eventually moves to the east late in the week and weekend, most of the rain is likely going to remain just off to our east. Still could see some again light rain on Monday and maybe into Tuesday as this tongue of moisture tries to remain kind of hung up over coastal Mississippi and uh, portions of the Louisiana coast. However, if the upper low decides to drift back to the west just a little bit, all that heavy rain that you see right now that's just to our east, it could slide to the west in impacting areas like coastal Mississippi. Um, if that upper low though does slide a little bit more to the east, then we could see mostly dry forecasts across the entire area throughout the week. Well, thank you for joining us. Again, looks like the forecast should be mostly quiet. Uh, we're just going to keep a really close eye on this cutoff low as they can be tricky at times, but uh, given the trend in the models, and they've been pretty consistent with this feature, it looks like it's going to be mostly dry for the week and may get lucky and get a little bit drier air and some slightly cooler air for the mid portions of the week. Other than that, tropics remain quiet and hopefully you enjoyed this. Everybody have a great week.